Stop. Have you felt like your mind's in a fog, struggling to remember things that used to be easy? Maybe you've been feeling off. Suddenly restless at night, lying awake at 3 a.m. for no reason, or feeling tense and anxious over the smallest things. Or worse, catching every cold, every cough that comes your way. And here's the part no one talks about, low sex drive, or even needing longer to recover between sessions. If any of this sounds familiar, you could be dealing with something most men overlook, a drop in testosterone. Today, we're revealing seven of the most common foods that could be wrecking your testosterone. Trust me, you won't believe what's last on this list. All right, let's kick things off with one of the most surprising testosterone killers, soy products. You've seen them everywhere, right? Tofu, soy milk, edamame, they're in everything from health food aisles to your favorite restaurant dishes. But here's the twist, while they're promoted as healthy, soy products contain something that could be working against you. Soy is packed with phytoestrogens, compounds that mimic estrogen in your body. Imagine that. You're loading up on plant-based protein, thinking you're doing something great, but instead, you're subtly increasing estrogen. And here's where it gets even more interesting, over time, these phytoestrogens can compete with testosterone, throwing off the balance of your hormone and leading to lower testosterone levels. In fact, soy products are so common that about 90% of processed foods in America contain soy as a preservative or additive. Yes, you heard that right, soy isn't just in tofu or soy milk, it's in items like bread, protein bars, cereals, sauces, and even frozen dinners. This means that even if you're not directly consuming tofu or edamame, you're probably taking in soy without realizing it. Now, you might be wondering, how can you avoid it? One of the best ways is to start checking labels. Look out for ingredients like soy protein isolate, soy lecithin, and vegetable oil, they're all sources of hidden soy. It might sound tedious, but this small habit could make a huge difference in managing your testosterone and overall health. And here's the kicker, for men especially, consistent soy intake can lead to decreased drive, energy, and stamina over time. So next time you reach for that soy latte or grab a protein bar, it's worth asking, what's it really doing to your body? Let me know in the comments if soy is a regular part of your diet, you may be surprised by how many everyday foods contain it. Now, if you think that's eye-opening, wait until you hear about our next food, it's a so-called superfood that might be lowering your testosterone without you even realizing. Next up, let's talk about another food that might shock you, flax seeds. Known as a superfood, right? Packed with fiber, omega-3s, antioxidants, but here's the hidden truth that most people miss, flax seeds are also loaded with lignans, compounds that can mimic estrogen in your body. Surprising. It gets better. Imagine this, while you're adding flax seeds to your smoothie or sprinkling them over your salad, thinking you're boosting your health, you could actually be tipping the hormone scale in the wrong direction. These lignans bind to estrogen receptors, and over time, they start to compete with testosterone. The result? Lowered testosterone levels. And what does that mean for you? Here's where it gets attention grabbing. Imagine the shift happening gradually. At first, you might not even notice, but a few weeks or months down the line, you're feeling a bit more tired, having a harder time building muscle, and, here's the kicker, experiencing unexpected hair loss. Yes, low testosterone levels can impact hair health too, leading to slower growth, thinning, or even shedding. And it doesn't stop there, low testosterone affects mental focus, workout recovery, and even energy levels. And here's a fact that might really make you think twice, in a 2019 study, men who consumed flax seeds daily experienced a 9% decrease in testosterone on average over a few weeks. That may not sound like much, but for men, even a small dip in testosterone can have serious ripple effects, starting with subtle signs like lower stamina and leading to visible symptoms like hair thinning and a loss of muscle tone. So, the next time you see a recipe calling for flax seeds or a health article singing their praises, remember, they're not all sunshine and antioxidants. Sometimes the healthiest seeming foods have unexpected downsides. Have you ever used flax seeds as part of your daily routine? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear if this was as surprising for you as it is for most people. Now, next is an oil almost everyone has in their kitchen, but it's been directly linked to low testosterone. Let's dive into an ingredient that's a staple in most kitchens but could be quietly working against your health, vegetable oils. Yes, 
I'm talking about those bottles of corn, soybean, and canola oil that we're constantly told are heart healthy. But here's the truth, these oils along with sunflower and grapeseed oils, are packed with polyunsaturated fats. While they might sound harmless, these fats have been linked to reduce testosterone levels over time. Now, think about this, every time you're frying, sautéing or dressing your food with these oils, you could be unknowingly throwing off your hormone balance. And it doesn't stop there. Vegetable oils are hidden in countless processed foods, chips, salad dressings, mayonnaise, margarine, baked goods, frozen meals and sauces. Even the foods you think of as healthier options, like store-bought hummus or granola, often contain these oils as preservatives or flavor enhancers. Research has shown that diets high in polyunsaturated fats, especially from oils like these, can impact the body's ability to produce testosterone naturally. Over time, this leads to more than just low energy, it can contribute to symptoms of erectile dysfunction. With testosterone levels gradually dropping, blood flow to key areas is compromised, impacting stamina and performance. In fact, a study published in 2021 found that men with higher intakes of vegetable oils experienced up to a 15% reduction in testosterone levels compared to those who used healthier fats. Imagine that, just a tablespoon here, a drizzle there, slowly chipping away at your body's natural performance, affecting everything from muscle tone to sexual health. But here's the good news. Instead of these testosterone-draining oils, try switching to alternatives like extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, or even avocado oil. These oils contain healthier fats that not only support hormone balance but also boost heart health and reduce inflammation, giving you benefits across the board. So, if vegetable oils are a regular part of your diet, it might be time to think twice before reaching for that bottle. Start checking food labels and choosing whole ingredients, because even small changes could make a huge difference in protecting your testosterone and overall health. Let me know in the comments, what oils do you typically use? You may be surprised to learn just how many everyday foods are working against you. And if you thought vegetable oils were surprising, alright, let's talk about one of the most overlooked testosterone killers, sugary treats and drinks. I know, a donut here, a soda there, or even a glass of fruit juice seems harmless. But here's the real story. These foods aren't just high in sugar, they're often loaded with high fructose corn syrup, an ingredient that's anything but innocent when it comes to your testosterone. Here's why it matters. When you consume high fructose corn syrup, your blood sugar spikes quickly, which may feel like an energy boost at first. But there's a catch, this quick sugar hit also triggers a spike in cortisol, the stress hormone. And here's the shocking part, cortisol competes directly with testosterone. Imagine your body as a scale, when cortisol rises, testosterone takes a hit, tipping the balance against your energy, focus, and drive. And it's not just about how you feel. In a 2017 study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, researchers found that frequent consumption of high fructose corn syrup led to a steady decrease in testosterone over time. Think about that, every sip of soda or bite of a sugary snack is silently working against your hormone health. But here's where it gets even more interesting. High fructose corn syrup doesn't just compete with testosterone, it also encourages fat storage, especially around the belly. This extra weight further contributes to hormone imbalance, leading to what some researchers call metabolic testosterone suppression. Over time, this can even contribute to erectile dysfunction as blood flow and energy levels drop. So, what can you do? Start checking labels. High fructose corn syrup hides in more than just soda, look out for it in packaged snacks, baked goods, sauces, and even some fruit juices. When in doubt, choose foods with natural ingredients or lower sugar content. Every small step away from these sugary treats brings you closer to restoring your testosterone and overall health. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful so far, consider hitting subscribe. It lets us know we're on the right track and helps us keep bringing you valuable content. Now, let's talk about a food group that might seem harmless but could be quietly working against your testosterone levels, dairy products. Yes, I'm talking about cheese, milk, yogurt, staples in most of our diets. But here's the twist, did you know that modern dairy often contains traces of estrogen? And this isn't accidental. Because of today's industrial farming practices, dairy cows are often kept pregnant to boost milk production, which means higher estrogen levels in the milk we consume every day. Now, think about it, every glass of milk, 
Every piece of cheese could be giving you a little extra dose of estrogen. And why is this an issue? Even small amounts of estrogen can interfere with testosterone production in men. It's like a slow leak, barely noticeable at first, but over time, it can create an imbalance in your hormones. Suddenly, that everyday splash of milk in your coffee or slice of cheese on your sandwich starts to look a little different. Here's the real kicker. A 2019 study published in the Journal of Dairy Science found that conventionally raised dairy contains detectable estrogenic compounds that disrupt hormone levels, particularly in men. It's subtle but persistent. And over time, this low-level hormone disruption can start to impact your energy, your muscle tone, even your motivation. And here's where it really gets interesting, long-term exposure can even contribute to symptoms like erectile dysfunction and reduced stamina, as testosterone levels slowly drop. Imagine that, the dairy you've had all your life, contributing to a gradual drain on your energy and drive. But the good news. You have options. Switching to organic or hormone-free dairy can reduce these risks, or you can opt for plant-based alternatives like almond, coconut, or oat milk, none of which disrupt your testosterone. Tell me in the comments, are dairy products part of your daily routine? You may be surprised to learn just how much they can affect your hormones. Let's talk about something most people would never expect, a fresh breath with hidden consequences, mint. Yes, that's right, mint. Whether it's spearmint or peppermint, this popular herb that we use in teas, chewing gum, and even breath fresheners has a secret side effect that can sneak up on you over time. Here's the twist, while mint is refreshing and has some calming effects, it also contains menthol, a compound found in peppermint, that can interfere with testosterone production. Menthol has been shown to affect the endocrine system by inhibiting certain enzymes needed to produce testosterone, leading to a gradual decline in this essential hormone. But here's where it gets interesting, while menthol may actually be beneficial for women due to its mild estrogen-like effects, in men, it has the opposite impact, potentially lowering testosterone over time. And it's not just in tea or mint-flavored treats, menthol is also commonly found in products like toothpaste, cough drops, pain relief bombs, and even menthol cigarettes. So each time you consume something with menthol or use a product containing it, you might be subtly lowering your testosterone levels without even realizing it. Menthol cigarettes, for instance, carry not only this testosterone-suppressing compound but also other chemicals that disrupt hormone production and blood flow, directly impacting stamina and energy. It doesn't stop there. Similar compounds called phytoestrogens mimic estrogen in the body, and they're found in herbs like lavender and tea tree oil, which are often used in skincare products, shampoos, and household items. Frequent exposure can subtly raise estrogen levels, which is beneficial for women but can lead to lowered testosterone in men. In a 2007 study published in the Phytotherapy Research Journal, researchers found that men who consumed mint tea daily experienced a measurable drop in testosterone levels. So what might seem like a small habit, a cup of tea, a breath freshener, or even a menthol cigarette, could actually take a toll on male hormones over time, while being neutral or even beneficial for women. If you're looking to support your testosterone, it might be wise to limit exposure to menthol-rich products and phytoestrogen-containing herbs. Instead, consider alternatives like ginger, basil, or cinnamon, which don't have the same hormonal effects. Let me know in the comments, did you know mint had this effect on men but not women? It's one of those hidden impacts most people never consider. Alright, brace yourself, because one of the most surprising testosterone killers might be hiding in your fridge right now. Yes. I'm talking about alcohol, and especially beer. We all know that drinking too much isn't great for our health, but here's something that will really make you rethink your weekend pint. Beer contains hops, a plant rich in phytoestrogens, compounds that mimic estrogen in the body. And that's a serious problem for testosterone. Now, you might think, how much can a little beer really do? But studies have shown that even moderate drinking of beer can lead to a decrease in testosterone over time. Think about it. With each glass, you're adding estrogen-like compounds to your system, and these phytoestrogens start to compete directly with testosterone. Imagine a tug-of-war inside your body, with estrogen gaining the upper hand, little by little. And here's where it gets even more interesting. In a 2013 study published in the Journal of Endocrinology, researchers found that men who consumed hops regularly experienced noticeable drops in testosterone levels, along with side effects like fatigue, weight gain, and even a lowered libido. Just picture this, a beverage meant to relax you could actually be lowering your stamina, 
muscle tone, and drive over time. But it doesn't stop there. Phytoestrogens in hops don't just lower testosterone, they also promote the storage of belly fat, which further disrupts hormonal balance and can lead to what's known as beer belly estrogen dominance. This extra fat becomes a breeding ground for even more estrogen, creating a vicious cycle where testosterone is constantly pushed down. So, next time you're about to crack open a cold one, ask yourself, is it worth it? If you're looking to protect your testosterone and energy, it might be time to rethink the choice and look at alternatives like wine or spirits, which don't contain hops and have a lesser impact on testosterone. Let me know in the comments, did you know beer had this effect? It's one of those hidden truths that most people don't consider. And if this shocked you, just wait. Our next item is one of the most common foods out there, but it's loaded with compounds that can wreck your testosterone. 